I'm never ashamed of program versus real drums, and I think that there's no point. Like, if the people, if you like the song, that's what matters to me. I don't care if you recorded it in Thailand or you recorded it in a trash can or you recorded it, you know, if it's real or fake. I don't even care if it sounds like real. If the song is great and the drums serve the song, that's what you're after. Agreed. So. So, yeah. We started off with, uh, in this case, I remember we were talking earlier, this track was just a couple... Riffs. Riffs. Yeah. But, that ended up getting pieced together. So um, Josh had come with some program parts. So we had the core of of the drums there, um, like written out. And you'll notice there's actually not a ton of like automation on individual hits. Part mm -hmm. of that is due to the pace of the song. Like you're not really doing any of the like the upbeats on the cymbal. Um, so you don't need to get like that ghost one down here kind of thing. Some of them you'll notice like Crash L1 and L2, he's just hitting these for effects. So that's a little bit of how we get into like more into the hip hop approach to it. Like, no, this guy doesn't have as many hands as he needs to hit these cymbals, but it sounded better to have left and right cymbals being hit at the same time for those particular parts. And that was like a conscious decision that Josh and I made was to give a guy an extra arm, that's so to speak. It's kind of funny that you did that just because these program drums do sound pretty real right that you still did dr octopus stuff and got away with it yeah and like in the fills really ain't all about that you'll never see it there but um yeah sometimes coming out of them or like on downbeats um you know it's the same kind of thing live like live your drummer has to spare a hand to hit his spds pad to hit the bass drop but yeah we're not going to do that in a mix we're going to give him his extra hand back yeah um Three hands. So yeah, we kind of take advantage of like what we can with the program drums and what it doesn't limit us to. Um, but a big part of that is got to be injecting life back into the program drums because it can be really hard to spend a mix fighting the lack of energy that comes from a static overhead track. Um, so the main thing I do, uh, and I don't remember where I picked this up from actually, um, it was in, I used to use like the logical editor, if anyone knows what that is in Cubase, where you can like set up conditionals, like if the shell is this note, add this much, to the velocity. The MIDI modifier tool in Cubase lets you do that just on the fly. So the two main ones, the only two actually, are there's a randomizer section here where you've got the ability to randomize position, pitch, velocity, or length. With drums, we only care about position and velocity. So I'm randomizing the position between zero and five. I don't know what unit of measurement this is in. I believe it's ticks. Um, it might be feet. Feet? Yeah, <laughs> zero to five feet. Yeah, so zero to five feet, and then minus four plus four degrees Celsius. Maybe. Um, basically what this is doing is for every hit that's gonna happen on the mini note, it will randomly move it between zero and five units, five feet, um, from where it was placed. What this means is that no, no like kick snare or like kick cymbal hit is gonna happen at exactly the same time. It doesn't happen in real life, so that's good. And it also means that the velocities are never gonna be exactly the same from consistent hits. So just strapping that across your MIDI track is gonna get a more human sounding um, program drum track. And the other nice thing is that you can kind of adjust the swing with this. So adding more or less. I think I've seen Joey do this. Yeah, the random positioning stuff. Like if I made it 10, it would be a lot more loose. The guy would have a lot more leeway with his hits. So maybe on a rock track, I'm like delaying it a little bit more. Uh, on this one, five is pretty tight. I would say I usually go between six and 10. Yeah, and, and it, what it does is it just saves you like an hour of moving stuff on your own. Like that's just another little two to five inch like time saver. Yeah. So we can plot drums completely rigid, like just completely onto the grid and not feel bad about it because you have those little tools like that, that that really save so much time. Yeah, but then if we need like an actual real sounding part, we do get kind of granular in here. So yeah. like I got anal on this part and made it sound like a realistic snare roll as much as possible. It's just a little bit like in detail of what you were doing velocity-wise on that? Uh, let's solo the drum track, so we're just hearing that. Um, I wish I was showing you through, like, through the sampler, but... I just keep some general rules in mind, like your right hand's gonna hit stronger than your left hand usually. Um, the downbeat's gonna be a little bit harder. Um, normally you get like a, a mountain-type effect going. So in this, it's just... Um, He's alternating which of his hands is doing the hard hit in this one. So we've got right, and then these two go little, and then left is hard. Um, and that just repeats throughout it. 
I think a lot of this comes from like again, I spent and still spend years editing drums, so I like know what the waveforms <laughs> look like, which kind of influences how I can know where the velocities go. Um, and then there's definitely a fair bit of like, let's just highlight this and maybe make it ramp a little bit towards that. Like there's a couple things you can do along that yeah. to make yeah, it faster. I mean, yeah, it helps having experience with the real drums or it helps being a drummer. I was a drummer before I was a producer, so when I hear things, I can hear when they're not programmed in a hum humanistic way. But if you're not a drummer and you don't have experience with real drums, then it's smarter to focus on things like knowing what the drummer's predominant hand is and knowing that none of the hits like that are gonna be the same. They always have to be kind of moving up and down. Mm 